So if you saw last week's video, you know that I started getting some of the roof deck done. Um, so I've got enough done right now to put the solar panels on. So that's a good point. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to get into this week. Uh, I do have a few tattoos. So um, yeah, I have no idea. But thanks for joining me on this week's video. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens because I don't even know. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to show you something I just got in. It's a uh, flex curve, right? So it's got these knobs on there too. So once you get it in the place that you want, you just tighten up these and it will save that curve. So like when I go, I'm gonna use this for uh, putting the wall up, I think on the outside of the bathroom, which is what I'm gonna try to do today as long as my wood is still good that I have outside for it. So we'll see, but yeah, super cool. So uh, yeah, let's let's try to do this, check it out here. All right, so this is, this is the wall. All right, so I'll just loosen all these up. So then everything's locked in place. And then once I have my measurements on the height and everything, which I'm gonna measure from the highest point down to the lowest point, um, then after I get that and the width measured, I can take this to the top of the piece of wood and then just trace this curve. So much easier. I was using cardboard before and you just gotta trim a little bit at a time. It was just tedious. You know, it works, it totally works. Like. But this was only, I think, like, I'll find the link and post it, but I think it was only like 20 bucks or something. So not that bad, and it saves a bit of time. It's pretty fast. So, yeah, now I'm going to go check the wood outside, and if that's good, hopefully I can get this wall put up. So let's check that out. I mean, it's gonna need to be painted and stuff and wiped down because it's dirty, but we got this little piece in. Now we have this wall done. 
Hey, hey, hey. It's definitely looking better. Now this side, but I gotta test the water first. So we gotta wait until the settlers put in for that. projects in today. I ended up running out of the uh, wood that I was using for the walls. So I still have the inside of the bathroom wall that I did uh, today. I still have that inside to do and then where like the ladder is going to be stored where there's some shelves. I still got to do some with that. So I think here in a couple days when I can get a ride to the Lowe's or Home Depot. No, you're not going outside, Audrey. No, no, it's getting late. Um, anyway, when uh, I can get a ride to Lowe's or Home Depot, I'll probably go ahead and get some more of that wood for the wall so I can finish those up. And uh, yeah, who knows? I might even make the ladder this week. I don't know. We'll see, right? But yeah, I'm going to chill right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do some avocado and butter on English muffins for a little snack before I decide what I'm cooking for dinner because I'm really not 100% yet. But yeah, that's it for today and I'll catch up with you uh, either later tonight if something happens or in the morning. Good morning. Um. Yeah, I didn't film like when I went to sleep and stuff, but I did that cute little fish tattoo, little clown fish, and uh, then I just came home and uh, chilled. And uh, today I'm going to start the day off by going through uh, some stuff that I have for my solar system. I need to make sure that if... I know I need to order a few more things, but I don't know what all I need to order, so I'm just going to go through this box of solar stuff that I have. And then, notification, and uh, yeah, and then make a list of the extra things that I do need. I did get to order my solar batteries, so they should be here in like a couple weeks. So that means it's time to start preparing. So let's go through this box and see what all I've got. Okay, brackets. For the solar panels, and I think that's what all of these are. Yeah. Uh, so, like, yeah, lots, lots of brackets. Hey. Got the Bluetooth module to help monitor stuff. We got all of our all the cords and stuff for the solar panels. Yeah, give me that. These are the connectors. So these are the connectors for the uh, plugs and stuff that are hooking to the panels. So that's what that is. And then this is the MPP, uh, MPP 
charge controller. Right here, I can see that. Let's peep it out. Let's take out the box. Yes, it's a 60 amp MPPT charge controller. This is all Renogy. Uh, this came in one of the kits for the 800 watt. Um, so this is what it came with. So this is all the MPPT stuff. Isn't that nice? Yes, I'm gonna put it back in there now. So, so now what I need to do, now that I've got everything out and I've looked at it, now I just need to go through and um, try to look up some like instructions and everything. Um, the only instructions that came with this was the actual, like, MPPT instructions. Um, there's no other instructions in here. So, I'm going to scroll the YouTube and see what all I can find out, and then I'm going to make a list of anything else. I know I need bus bars, and I know I'm going to need a fuse box for the 12 volt as well as a fuse box and an inverter. But I don't know if there's anything else I'll need. So, yeah, I'm going to scroll to YouTube, make a list, and then I'll get back to you. Yes, I'm going to let you outside in a second, baby. Look at you. You're so cute. All right, so I figured out that, yes, I'm going to need the bus bars. I'm going to need an inverter. <laughs> She's flying around. Yes, just a minute, baby. I'm going to need bus bars, an inverter, and... Uh, fuse boxes um, for sure. Now, I also realized I'm going to have to do so much math and so much planning. So, there's a lot that's going to be coming into play with this. So, <clears throat> I'm not stressed out though. Everything's fine. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that's where we're going to end this week's vlog, and here in the next week or two, I'm probably going to get into other little things, because it's going to, like I said, a couple weeks before my batteries are in. So it'll be a couple weeks before I can get started on the solar. I'll be doing other little projects until then, as well as some math here and there, probably. But yeah, I will be doing, there's going to be one episode, uh, episode? Sure. Uh, that will be just, just solar, and I'm going to try to get as in-depth uh, as possible with that while I'm trying to figure it out you can come along with me and uh, but yeah we're in the vlog here uh, please give me a like subscribe if you don't mind you know I appreciate every little bit and then uh, I'm gonna see you next week for I think I'm gonna do window screens that's what I think is gonna happen but we'll see I'll see you then